Hello, welcome to our first Sunday in February. This is our sixth Sunday of the new year. We're already in February, so that's cool. <laughs> um, let us start with um with our prayer. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> Lord, thank you for giving us places to pray and worship to you. Thank you for giving us leaders to share knowledge with us about your word. Amen. So today we are going to be talking about this story right here. So it's the studying at the temple. And it's from Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. Um, and parents, um, when you watch the Sunday service, um, I am actually reading this scripture um, as well for the entire church community. So I think it's cool that I'm able to read the scripture and also teach it to the kids as well. So be looking out for me in the Sunday service, reading the scripture as well. So, and if you have already seen the Sunday service, I hope you like the scripture. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will go ahead and start reading and then we'll go ahead and do our things over here, our explore, our connect, our wonder, like that, so. Studying at the temple. Every year, Mary and Joseph traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. The year that Jesus was 12, they went to the festival as usual, along with a group of others from the same region. When the festival was over, the group came together and began the journey back home. Mary and Joseph did not see Jesus as they walked along on that first day, but they were not worried. There were many friends and family members along, and they were sure he was with some of them. When evening came, though, they started looking for Jesus. He was nowhere among their friends and relatives. When they could not find him, they turned back to Jerusalem to look there. After searching in Jerusalem for three days, Mary and Joseph finally found Jesus. He was in the temple with the teachers listening and asking questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Mary said, child, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been so worried. We have searched everywhere for you. Jesus answered, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I had to be here in my father's house? Mary and Joseph didn't understand what Jesus meant. Jesus went back to Nazareth with his parents and obeyed them. His mother treasured these things in her heart. Jesus grew in body and spirit, blessed both by people and by God. So our wonder section underneath says, I wonder why Jesus wasn't worried or feeling lost. So think to yourself, you know, as it says, um, Mary and Joseph were searching in Jerusalem for three days um, for Jesus because they um, didn't see him as they were walking. Um, but Jesus, when he went, he told them, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? He was referring to God. So why do you think Jesus wasn't worried or wasn't feeling lost or anything? Um, with Jesus being Jesus, I guess, um, and being the son of God, he did not feel lost because God was there to guide his way, to guide his path. And he wasn't worried because he had, he had God. So um, when you have God, you feel no worry and you don't feel lost because God will show you the way. God will protect you. 
Um, so yeah, that's my answer on why I believe, you know, why I think he wasn't worried or feeling lost. He wasn't scared. He wasn't, um, nervous. He, he, he felt like himself. So for the connect, it says Jesus and the temple leaders were learning about God together. Where do you like to learn about God? Um, so think to yourself, where are some places that you like to learn more about God? Um, it can be anywhere. I know we haven't been to church in a while, but church could be a place you'd like to learn about God. Um, it could be in your own bedroom if you have like a little Bible or something like that. Or it could be even like in your living room maybe with your parents um, watching um, things that have to do with like a Sunday service or just watching me speak to you. Um, you could like to learn maybe say at an aunt's or uncle's house, maybe at school. So there are many places that you can learn about God, but where do you specifically, like, where do you like to learn about God? So, And our explore section, it says, Jewish children often spent time learning from rabbis or teachers, but it wasn't common for teachers to listen to the students as well. So think of teachers or adults that you know who patiently listen to you and enjoy your questions. So think about your teachers or your parents. Um, like, do, do you know that they're waiting for you to speak and tell you what they think so that... Um, they can answer all your questions and give you the feedback that you need at your age. Um, there are so many people who are patient with you um, during this time as far as teachers, family members, including parents, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandmothers, grandfathers, all that. Um, there's also daycare providers. I'm a daycare provider, so being able to listen to the kids and understand what they're saying is a big part of what I do. Um, and um, pastors, rabbis, reverends, um, apostles, whatever name they go by, um, church officials, they're there to listen patiently and answer your questions as well. So there are so many people out in the world that will listen and um, wait patiently. And during that time, they might even learn from you as well. So we learn something new every day. And um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, okay, you learn something new every day, not just as a child, but also as an adult. So even if you as a young person were to say something to me that maybe I didn't know myself, I'm going to want to look that up and learn from that. Um, that is what teachers, rabbis, pastors, family members, parents, grandparents, they learn something new even to this day. So that was that. That's that. And we have reached the end of this short and sweet like it's been recently. And I will go ahead and end off with the prayer. <clears throat> God, thank you. Thank you for showing us that we need not to worry. Thank you for guiding our path. Thank you for those who listen and learn. And thank you for your places of worship. Amen. All right, that is all for today. And I will be back um, next week. Please stay safe. Um, stay warm. It's going to be cold. And yeah.
that's it. Have a great day. Bye.